Hello, database enthusiasts. Welcome back to our MySQL Mastery series. So far, we've explored MySQL database design, creating MySQL tables, and designing database relationships. Today, we'll uncover the art of querying MySQL data, including select statements, filtering, sorting, and aggregate functions. If you're ready to command your data like never before, hit that like button and let's dive in. The SELECT statement is the cornerstone of data retrieval in MySQL. It allows us to fetch data from one or more tables based on specific criteria. Let's start with a simple example, fetching all data from our customer's table. We'll use the SELECT keyword, followed by an asterisk to denote all columns, and the FROM keyword to specify the table. Sometimes we need to narrow down our data based on specific conditions. The WHERE clause comes to the rescue. It allows us to filter our data using various comparison operators and logical conditions. Let's fetch a list of customers who live in a city that starts with the letter B. We'll add a WHERE clause to our SELECT statement and specify that the city column should be start with the letter B. To bring order to our data, we can use the ORDER BY clause. This powerful clause allows us to sort our data based on one or more columns in ascending or descending order. Let's sort our list of customers by their last name in alphabetical order. We'll add an order by clause to our select statement and specify the last underscore name column, followed by the ask keyword for ascending order. Aggregate functions provide a way to perform calculations on a group of rows and return a single value. Some common aggregate functions include count, sum, AV, MIN, and MAX. In our orders table, let's calculate the total revenue, average order value, and the highest and lowest order values. We'll use the SUM, AV, MAX, and MIN functions in our SELECT statement, along with the appropriate columns. Congratulations! You've just unleashed the power of querying my SQL data with SELECT statements filtering, sorting, and aggregate functions under your belt, you're well on your way to becoming a data manipulation maestro. In our next video, we'll explore advanced querying techniques using joins to combine data from multiple tables. Be sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this video with your fellow data enthusiasts. Thank you for watching, and happy querying.